Grampian Police will become the first force in Scotland to equip all its officers with body cameras. It follows an 18-month trial which has found that the devices play an important role in bringing criminals to court. Rachel Stewart reports. Caught on camera, just a glimpse of what the police regularly encounter on the streets of Aberdeen. You're on camera, so don't bother kicking out. This footage was filmed by officers themselves wearing body cameras attached to their uniforms. They've been trying out the technology for the last 18 months and believe the device could transform policing. Cases that were reported to the Procurator of Fiscal, 90% of those went to an early guilty plea. Now what's really big for us is that was 110 officers who were left working within their community and weren't abstracted to go to court to give evidence. Uh, in addition, it's added additional protection for officers and as with any recording, it adds that extra layer of transparency in relation to our interaction with members of the public. The technology is already used by other forces, but Crampian Police will be the first to issue virtually every officer with a camera. The devices aren't set to record all the time. Officers decide when it's appropriate. Some of the evidence may end up in court. The rest, the force says, will be destroyed. I do think it's a good idea. I think it'll support the police in um, what they do. We come from France and policemen don't wear uh, cameras on their jackets and there are no not, such yeah. cameras in they the streets. Don't, like, they don't. So why here. do you need so many? You've already got, some, you've got, you've already got CCTV. We've got cameras all over the place, there's one up there, you see. So they're all over the place and I have no problem with that. If it protects society, then it uh, can't be anything but for the better. Officers say the cameras reduce their paperwork, the time they need to spend in court and help to deter bad behaviour. The project will be rolled out across Murray and Aberdeenshire within weeks.